Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Anne Waladu. Coming up on the program today. Oyo State Government compensates farmers as major road infrastructure commences. IDPs in Yobe State are empowered through the Fadama 3 project. And the broadcasting organization of Nigeria joins the call to stamp out corruption in Nigeria. Welcome once again. President Mohamed Buhari has inaugurated the 30-member minimum wage committee at the council chambers of the presidential villa Abuja. The committee is led by the former Minister of Housing, Ama Peppel, and is made up of persons from the public and private sectors, as well as the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA. On Thursday, the president approved the appointment of the National Minimum Wage Committee for negotiation of the new national minimum wage. My hope is that the outcome of the deliberations of the committee would be consensual and generally acceptable. I therefore urge you to amicably consider the issue of a national minimum wage and all matters that are ancillary to it with thoroughness and concern, not only for the welfare of our workforce, but the effect of the country's economy. The subject of a national minimum wage for the Federation is within the exclusive legislative list of the 19 99 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. Accordingly, we should aim to go above the basic social protection flow for all Nigerian workers based on the ability of each tier of government to pay. I say this because minimum wage is the minimum amount of compensation an employee must receive for putting in his or her labor and as such should be anchored on social justice and equity. Government's decision after considering your final recommendation will be sent as an executive bill to the National Assembly for it to undergo appropriate legislative scrutiny before passing it into law. Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari. The Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, says more men and the technical team will be sent to Adamawa State to investigate the crisis leading to the loss of lives in Noman local government area. The police boss made this known when he paid a courtesy call to Governor Mohamed Jibrila in Yola to commiserate with the state and also assess the situation there. He tells the governor what steps the police will be taking and he has assured him that the perpetrators will face the wrath of the law. We are deploying about five more police units to assist in maintaining our order especially in these areas where, where this locality where this incident occurred. Uh, in addition, we are going to support the command, you know, the deployment of some technical units, like a technical unit, like a tracking unit, that will assist in the subsequent investigation into this incident. Uh, in addition, obviously we are going to sort of assist also the command that made the state you know, in the investigation of this incident, because I believe that uh, for this incident to be thoroughly investigated so that those ugly incidents do not repeat itself again in the future. The Nigerian police force obviously is concerned and telling with these incidents that occurred in this state, and that's why you see we are providing all this assistance to the government and people of the state. 
Let's move to your state now, where the government has begun the construction of a circular road project expected to ease traffic for travellers on the Lagos Sibado Expressway. Now, following this directive of the state governor, over 600 families have been compensated for the loss of their crops as the result of the road construction. However, more families are still yet to be compensated. The Commissioner for Works and Transport in the state, Alhaji Wasiu Dauda, tells them to rest easy as all remunerations will be settled. Out with the old and in with the new is a saying that's meant to bring progress. But what happens when the new negatively affects the livelihood of people? Such is the lot of farmers in Adigbe, Badeku Onwara, local government area of Oyo State, southwest Nigeria, after the government commenced an expansion project on the Badon Circular Road. Sadly, farms along this axis have to give way for the project to be a success as huge earth-moving trucks destroy crops in their path. But all hope is not lost as the state government promises to compensate the farmers. Before we moved forward, because now we have done quite a bit of work, but we have been hindered because of the crops. And when we saw that they were cash crops, we consulted the government, and the government said they had already remunerated and they had valued the crops. And we asked for the details, and they gave us, and that is why we're here today, to compensate the croppers so that we can move ahead with speed. While some have received something for their loss, others remain uncompensated and groan under the burden of having their livelihoods taken away. Yet the state government preaches patience. The compensation is slow because the government will first take a look at the value of the crops and the size of the farmland before calling us for payment. We are just happy to those other people that are to be compensated. They should be patient. The proposed circular road is being constructed as an alternative route for travellers plying the Lagos Ibanu Expressway, whose destination is Ocean State. The first phase of the project is scheduled to be completed within 18 months. The Rural Agriculture Project, Fadama 3, has begun assessment of the various support facilities for internally displaced persons as a result of the Boko Haram crisis in the northeastern part of the country. The National Desk Officer of the project, Ibrahim Al-Khali, on the assessment tour in Yobe State, said he's satisfied with the impact already made from the amenities provided. The agriculture project Fadama 3 team visited several displaced communities across Yobe State to see for itself how the beneficiaries have used the support facilities given to individuals and communities. The various interventions are in the area of livestock and fishery production, irrigation farming, as well as grains processing. Others include construction of market stalls and toilets, access roads and culverts, among several others. We are satisfied with the performances so far. The National Desk Officer of the project expressed satisfaction with the performance of the beneficiaries and called on them to sustain the tempo. This is a, a support that came uh, out, of, uh, you know, out of the blues. So it is an opportunity, it is a, a rare opportunity for them uh, to, uh, to have that uh, support. So I call on them to use that uh, opportunity and make sure that they sustain it and uh, uh, make better life in living. On the need to expand its support to other affected persons, the team leader calls on government and other donor partners to synergize their approach to reach out to others in need. From all indication, uh, people are in need of more support. And uh, I'm calling on other partners to uh, synergize their approach in order to reach out to so many people that are affected by this uh, insurgency. Some of the beneficiaries indicated that it truly restored their means of livelihood. We are indeed grateful for all these interventions because we were completely displaced and lack of where to begin our lives. I have been an irrigation farmer but lost all things to the insurgency. I am now a very happy person, courtesy of Fadama 3. 
amma saboda halin da muka samu kanmu komai mun rasa amma sun aiho ita ma ta aiho wannan akwai amma this my sheep and goats given to me and to others by fadama 3 have multiplied greatly and let me tell you that they have changed our lives completely in fulfillment of the objectives of Adama, we are grateful. The project had within the 2017 fiscal year helped over 5,320 vulnerable groups as well as internally displaced persons in Yobe state. Orthopedic surgeons are finding better ways to treat diseases, but we'll find out what exactly the challenge is this time. That's when News Across Nigeria returns. Stay with us.